everyone welcome back to learn then code supported by newton school so today's video is going to be really useful for everyone who wants to start their career in it industry as a software developer i am going to cover how you can become a software developer from scratch what are some of the useful resources you can use uh, to learn programming languages and development so without any further delay let's get started with the video Let's first understand what a software developer is and what are the roles and responsibilities you have to take care of if you are a software developer. So software developers are the programmers who design, build and test software's applications. They understand the user requirement and using coding and technology, they try to develop those kind of softwares. Now the next question is how you can build those softwares. So for that, you learn first programming languages, for example, C++, Java, uh, JavaScript, etc. So based on your uh, application, whether you are developing a website or an Android uh, application, uh, you learn different type of programming languages. And these languages are used to convert instructions which are understandable by your computer into something which you can write in some high level languages like C++ and Java, which can be understand by a human as well. So uh, in software development, you write new codes, you collaborate with team of software engineers, and you also improve and debug the existing code. Collaborating with other experts like UX designers, graphic designer, product manager and technical writing also is included in software development providing. So these are some of the roles and responsibilities which you will be handling if you are a software developer. Now, uh, if you are interested and if you find this uh, profile suitable for you, then you can move forward with a video and uh, I'm going to cover some resources which can be useful for you if you want to be a software developer. So as I said that if you want to build a software, the first thing that you need to do is to learn a programming language. So you can get started with any programming language. Uh, the, some of the easy ones are C++ and Python, uh, which are very user friendly. So you can start with that. And uh, just to start with those languages, you first have to understand the basic syntax and semantics of those languages. So for that, you can follow some good YouTube uh, channels and some websites which are uh, freely available. For example, Code Academy, Khan Academy, uh, free code camp, upskill, etc., which provide free resources and tutorials to get started with any programming languages. Then the next step after that is you have to practice uh, those programming languages so that you can better understand it. And for that, you have to first understand the data structures and algorithm part of each language. So data structure in simple language means uh, the way you are storing your data, how you are organizing it and how you are storing it. And algorithm simply means that uh, these are some of the set of instructions which you can operate on those set of data to perform any particular task. So after learning the syntax of any programming language, you can move forward with the data structures and algorithm part. And to practice your DSA, uh, you can use platform like Lead Code, uh, Geek for Geeks, Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, uh, code forces code shell there are a lot of platforms available which are free of course so you can directly use them or if you want some dedicated courses on dsa or any other programming language then you can use a uh, geek for geek courses uh, platform as well and if you want to use some discount then you can use my coupon code which is rishika and uh, you can directly use it using the link which is available in the description box and you will get 10 percent discount on each courses which is available on geek for geeks now once you have some basic understanding of uh, some programming languages and and you are good with the data structures and algorithm part, you can move forward with the development side. So in development, you start learning uh, how to develop softwares. It can be uh, any Android application, iOS application, some system uh, applications, like how to develop antivirus and all, and how to uh, create websites. So there are different type of software based on that you choose your tech stack. So for example, if you are learning website development, then you can choose JavaScript and Node.js. If you are learning uh, Android development, then you can choose Kotlin as your your language so based on the type of software you are interested in building you choose your tech stack and again to find some good resources for each tech stack you can directly google and find some free resources available so for example if you want to learn web development then you can enroll in the full stack web development course provided by newton school a uh, link is available in the description box and you don't have to pay any upfront fees for the course right now and they will also help you to get a uh, place so there are many uh, resources available which will help you to uh, get skilled in any particular 
particular tech stack and based on that you can create some projects to learn how you can create a software using that particular tech stack so first you have to learn the uh, syntax of a programming languages then you have to learn the data structures and algorithm part then you have some experience in uh, development for that you will first learn the development tech stack and then you will create some projects around it and the fourth part is keep applying on jobs um, on some good job platforms like LinkedIn and you can directly search the job profile and you will get a lot of job listing which are uh, active and you can apply on them so don't just uh, feel that if you have applied on one then you will uh, directly get shortlisted and called for the interview so you have to apply for many jobs as much as you can and as much as relevant you feel um, so you keep applying on those jobs and, and be ready for the interview now few tips from my side um, which I feel that is necessary to share with you. I have heard a lot of questions around it and that is why I am uh, addressing all those questions right here. So the first question is how to create a balance between DSA practice and development. So for that I will suggest that first start learning DSA. Uh, once you have a basic understanding of data structures and algorithm then you can start learning development in parallel. It does not mean that you have to completely quit your DSA practice because one once you quit, you have to start it all over again and it will take some time to uh, get in the right pace, right? So do both the things in parallel. Um, I would suggest that uh, keep practicing one on two questions of DSA if you have already done uh, a good practice around it. Just to keep in a pace, you have to uh, keep practicing one on two questions a day uh, using platforms like Lead Code, uh, Lead Code and Geek for Geeks. And in parallel, you can work on your development projects. Now, the second question is how important DSA is. So, although uh, data structures and algorithm uh, are not used much in your development side, so they will not help you uh, much in software development. Uh, as such but they will help you to get a job in good uh, company because all the good companies like google apple microsoft uh, etc to get higher in them the first round is your online assessment round which will uh, test your dsa skills so you have to be very good around it so that you clear the online assessment part and in the interviews as well they uh, ask you dsa questions first and then move forward with your development projects so you should have a very good understanding of dsa and uh, for that you have to keep practicing so the these were some of the free resources and tips from my side. If you find the video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and some of the other free resources are available in the description box so you can check them out as well. Thank you for watching this video till the end.